Hey guys, it's George here and I just really quickly want to show you guys how to do this push transition in After Effects. It's really simple, really easy and it takes no time at all so I'm just going to crack straight on with it and get started. So what you want to do is you want to open up After Effects and you want to create a new composition. Set obviously the composition to whatever settings are relevant and there you go. Then what you want to do is you want to drag the two clips that you're going to use for this transition into the comp. Now make sure that these clips are color graded already because once you export the final video clip that will be treated as one clip so it won't be easy to then micro adjust color grades. So what you want to do is you want to chuck both the clips into your composition and offset them slightly about the length of the transition that you want to do. So make sure that they're maybe five or six frames apart because that's what you'll be using as leeway for the transition. And then we need to actually set up the push itself. So how we do that is we hit P for position on the layer and we need to move it to the edge of the screen. So first what you wanna do is on the top clip, set the keyframe at the start of the transition at the normal position and then you need to offset it so that it pushes its way out of the screen. Now, for me, on my composition, the x-axis is set to 960, so I actually want to double that and make that increment in double. So I'll set the keyframe at the start, and then the next keyframe right at the end will be set for me at 2880. And then we wanna do the same thing for the other clip. So at the end of the clip, you wanna set a keyframe at its normal position, and then at the start of the transition, you also want to offset that by double 960. So you can set that to minus 960. Great, and now you can see that we've actually got this push transition already there, it, and it, but it just doesn't look that great. There's no motion blur. So it just looks really obvious and kind of almost quite Star Wars-esque. So we're not really going to go for something like that. So what we want to do is we want to create an adjustment layer and set the adjustment layer to the length of the transition itself. Put that at the top of your comp so that it's the first layer. Cool, and now we've got that adjustment layer set to the correct length. What I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur. So just search for that in the effects and pop that onto your adjustment layer. You probably wanna to skip to around the middle of the transition for this point and then start messing with the blur and set the blurriness to the, about, the amount that you're going to want. And then you might see we've actually blurred the edges of the frame too, so we're losing some pixels. There's a little tick box that you can tick and it's called repeat edge pixels. So just tick that and it'll fix that by duplicating some of the stuff on the edges of the frame. Now, because my push is going horizontally, I'm actually gonna change the direction of the blur to horizontal just so it looks a bit more like a whip pan. Now we can really micro adjust the amount of blur we want now that we can actually see exactly how it's going to look. So play around with that and find what's right for you. Okay, but now if you just wanna refine the transition a little bit more, we can add a quick easy ease to the push just so that the start and the end aren't quite so sudden. So you do that by just right clicking on the position and hitting keyframe assistant and then hitting easy ease and it will now smooth out that transition for you. And boom, it's as easy as that. You can see the transition here. It took no time at all and it's super easy. I'm actually gonna be doing quite a lot of After Effects tutorials on transitions in the coming future. So if there are any that you've, you've seen in movies or videos that you'd like me to do, then please send me a reference and I can do a video on that for you. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and have fun.